what's up everyone welcome back to another video in this video i'm gonna talk about how to fix update failed error message on your discord and how we can fix this app so let me directly get into the step the first one just go over here search for the task manager and we have to click on this one and now expand this up search for if the discord is running over here in the background just go over here right click on the discord and go for end the task and remove it once the discord is successfully done we just need to close this and go over here search for run command and you have to press and just click on this one and right now we need to type percentage local app data percentage and go for ok and right now we need to navigate to the discord just get into the discord and right now you can see there is a for there is a thing called update so we need to just get into this so if it is update over here what we need to just right click on this one and we need to remove it so to rename it that is update we need to remove it update for example update repair.exe that should be repaired and once you rename it what we need to do is just make sure if the discord is running in the background while doing this you have to close the discord and now once it's successfully done we just need to go back to the app data and go to roaming now from here we need to navigate to the folder named discord we have to check for the discord and right now we need to find now from here we need to find something called code cache select this one and what we need to do is just right click on the code cache select the folder right click and go for the trash icon and once afterwards if you find anything named gpu over here as apart from this and also once it's successfully done you're fine just get into the folder named cache after deleting the code cache you can just get into the folder named cache just get into this one go for cache data and select everything over here right click and go for the trash icon once it's successfully done we just need to close everything and what we need to do is just go over here we need to add the security we need to add the discord to the windows security so just click over here we need, just need to search here for the windows security and we need to click on this one or just go over here you have to search for the control panel to search for the control panel click on this one and right now navigate to system and security windows defender firewall go for allow napper feature through windows defender firewall now from here what we need to do is we just need to add make sure the discord is added so if the discord is not added here as you can see the discord is not added if that is the case just go over in the discord right click go for open file location and we need to go over here at the top copy this and we have to close this go back to the control panel click on change setting go for allow another app navigate to the browse go over here and remove this copy paste it just go for enter and right now we need to add the discord so just add the discord that's an important one just add it so if you find the discord just add the discord go for add once the discord is added you have to put a check on both the boxes private and public now we need to close this and we need to move to the next step next step is all about just go over here search for add or remove programs just go over here search here for the discord so if you find the discord here just search here for the discord and we have to click on this one three dot menu and go for uninstall and once the uninstall is successfully done we just need to close this and go back over here in the microsoft store and you have to just get into the microsoft store you can just search for the microsoft store and do not download the discord from the google just search here for the discord and you can just search here for the discord and get the discord after in the microsoft store not from the google chrome that's what you have to try and we need to close this so these are the steps and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification that's it bye bye